Hey guys, so for today's video I'm going to be talking about my experience being a design major specifically at UC Davis. So a lot of the DMs that I've been receiving have been more towards being a design major. So I thought I would make this video to help you guys and personally I had a lot of questions coming in specifically as a design major so I feel like a video like this for me would have been super helpful. So I hope that you enjoy this video and let's get started on with the video. Okay, so I have a bunch of notes on like this little to-do list because these are points that I really like want to hit. So to make sure that you guys know these things and basically the first thing that I have on here is talking about transferring courses. So one of the things that I really want to make clear is that design one is a must. So if you're transferring, if you're changing majors within the university, you need to take design one because it's a requirement for everybody who is majoring in design. Also as a transfer, you should definitely, definitely try to transfer as many courses as you can because that really helps you so that you don't have to take as many courses at UC Davis and therefore you don't have to pay as much. So whether you think that a course is transferable or not, either way you might have to petition. Sometimes the university doesn't feel or automatically just like agree that a certain course you took at community college might be transferable so that's when you might have to petition yourself you would have to talk to your counselor and basically petition for the certain course that you want to be transferable to the university so if you took a drawing one course for example and there is a drawing one course at uc davis as part of the design major checklist that you have to take then you should have the course like the work that you did there so whether that means taking pictures of it or anything like that it's super helpful so that you can show that that course is definitely equivalent to a drawing one course at UC Davis so that you don't have to take that course again so those are some super important points that I wanted to bring up and hopefully throughout this I'm not forgetting anything because I really made sure to try and like put everything that I know into here. So the next thing that I want to talk about is design courses and the design major checklist. Actually, I'll have the link down below to what I'm going to talk about right now and I'm going to try and show you. So if I can, I'll post a picture of what I'm talking about on the screen somewhere, maybe like on the side. But basically, if you go or if you just simply Google UC Davis Design Department, I recommend going on this site because a design... As a design major, you have a checklist that the university has created for you to keep track of what courses you can take and also what courses you have to take, so like core courses, in order to take other courses. So over here in this site, I'm going to put a specific like link just to this so that you can like easily access it, but I wanted to walk you through it just in case. So from here, you're going to go to Design Curriculum Checklist, and if you go to the PDF, which is on the right, you're going to end up with a form like this. So this pretty much sets out kind of like the visual and all the core courses, all the history courses, all the studio courses, everything that you can take and have to take. This is super helpful. I definitely recommend this. I'm pretty sure that if you meet with a counselor at UC Davis in the design department, they're definitely going to tell you this right away because this is super important and I would hope so. <laughs> But anyways, there is a 2017 to 2019 and also a 2014 to 2017. So I went in into the university at 2017. So I had to use, I went off of the second form. But obviously if you're an incoming student or you're planning to transfer, you should stick to the 2017 to 2019. Putting this paper on your desk, like have it there for you to look at every time you've completed a course, check it off and everything. And... Also, another form that is super important that is also similar like in the same place is these forms right here. So on the same website under the courses schedules for 2019 to 2020, there's also different papers for fall, winter, and spring. So these are courses that are offered for those specific seasons or quarters, I guess I could say. But that's super helpful. Also, when you're looking for courses, then you can look on these papers, like download the PDF, print it out, whatever works for you, and look at what courses 
are offered that you want to like add onto your schedule so I definitely recommend that okay so I'm going to briefly talk about the courses that I took just so you get an idea whether you want to take the course whether you don't and I hope that this is enough I'm gonna go briefly on this just because I don't want this video to be like two hours long but I'm gonna help you guys as much as I can so Fall quarter of 2017 was my first quarter, and this quarter I took Design 1, which is a requirement for everybody. I also took Design 16, Graphics and Computer, and then I took 40C, which is Design Aesthetics, slash I believe it's Experience. And these courses, so for Design 1, Design 1 is the biggest class in terms of how many people are in that class that you are most likely going to be in, in terms of design courses. That was my biggest class for me. I believe it was about, I believe it was about 400 students. It was in the auditorium and it was huge. So because that course is so big, you do have a side little course that comes with that one, which is you get into a section and you come into groups and the student assistant that you have basically like the student assistant goes through things with you about what happened in the course and discussions and stuff like that so you do have a discussion class for that for design 16 basically you learn illustrator photoshop and stuff like that so those are super helpful i had already taken it but it was hard for me to petition the class so i just took it anyways and it's you have to keep in mind that all these courses are throughout quarter system so you have 10 weeks for the courses which with studio courses it gets pretty tight but it's definitely doable like you just have to work your butt off basically <laughs> and so for design 40c that was the same professor that I have for design 1 which I believe was Housefield he's a really funny professor he's really cool he's he's really good professor and I definitely recommend, I believe he's still teaching those courses. For Design 40C, you basically learned about like experience and aesthetics. So things that were like pretty, you read a lot of books and you learned about like immersive experience, like designing immersive experiences. It was a lot of things that you had to like process as in like learning so he basically taught like lectured a lot that you had to like really like grasp onto and for winter 2018 i took design 37 which for me was coding for designers i believe now it's called design 111 but that was a hard class you guys that was the first coding class for me and i took it with with young and it was a hard class honestly <laughs> if you're good with coding you're gonna do I'm pretty sure way better than me but I definitely passed I just I had a hard time with that class for sure after like the second week like the first week I felt like I was understanding everything and then the second week I felt like everything just started going downhill and I was so confused <laughs> so that is a tough class for sure but I definitely recommend because coding is such a good skill to have nowadays especially as a designer and design 115 with letter form letter forms and type I also took it with young and this course was very like hands-on so you had to do a lot of cutting you had to do a lot of lettering stuff like that which was it was how would you call it it was like kind of something that I had tough in terms of just basically hands-on just every little detail so it's not like it was drawing and stuff it was more of like cutting on the cut cutting board like stuff like that and n then I took nut 10 which is nutrition 10 but that was not in the design department I just decided to take that as like a different like non-design course and then I took design 127a which was sustainable design and I took that with for Guzen I, for I think that's her name that's how you spell it um this class was really good. I think it was really cool that they have a sustainable design course. I definitely recommend taking that class. It was really easy going. Like, it was like mainly you just listen to the lectures and then there was a big group project and that was pretty much it. Like, it was pretty easy going. And from what I remember, the course wasn't that long. For spring 2018, I took Design 116, which is Visual Communication Graphic Design. For 116, we had to create a basically like a branding, so it was very visual design. So it was a lot of like 
Illustrator or Photoshop if that works for you and designing like a package on your own and all of that. That class for me focused on specifically like products, a product that had to do with insects. So I don't know if she's still doing that, but for me that's how it worked out. So basically I had to design a package. We basically had to design like the process manual, process book, like a whole bunch of stuff. But that class gets you ready for another class that I'm going to talk about. But this is an individual project. Like you have to do it on your own. But it's, it's a lot. But you learn a lot. <laughs> And then I took 117 Interactive Media 1 with Schleiner, I believe. I'm going to butcher some of these like names, I'm sorry. This course was actually pretty good. I really liked it. It was HTML and CSS, and I definitely recommend taking HTML and CSS for sure. For Interactive Media 1, I really liked it, and it was really, really good. So I definitely recommend taking that course. I believe there's two professors for that course. And... You basically have to design a website and create it with HTML and CSS and I forgot what program we use. I believe we used Atom. Yes, for sure we used Atom, I believe. For Design 149, which I also took that quarter, it was Information Design and it was with Kelly. So I feel like this course is where the professor wasn't there. So the assistant professor took the class, or like was the instructor for the class, and that class was pretty good actually. It wasn't horrible, it just was a lot of like adjusting to not having the professor, but having the assistant professor. But that course was a lot of like just lecturing and that's all it was but then you did have a project and an exam, like a written exam, so you really had to take notes. and take account of like everything that was being taught so definitely don't miss the class but also other than that I took UWP 101 which is advanced composition and I took it with Jones so this course was okay like this course wasn't bad it's just at the beginning like when I, I came into the class very confident about like my writing skills but then like after the first essay I was like okay I need to go to office hours so I definitely recommend for UWP courses to utilize your office hours so another quarter the following quarter was fall quarter of 2018 then I took what did I take I took history of visual communication with Drew Oh, okay, so Design 145, sorry, I'm trying to like remember as I'm like telling you guys about these courses, but Design 145 was really good. I really like it. Glenda is an amazing professor. Please take her classes. <laughs> like, honestly, in the coding and in the history classes, like, take her courses. She's really good. I really recommend. You just have to attend the class, like, and you will do really good. Like, as long as you're taking notes and doing what you're supposed to, you're going to be doing really good. Design 151 and Type in Motion, I suck at saying his last name, but his name is Mark Ishisaka Nofe. I suck, I'm sorry, like, if professors watch this, like, this is so embarrassing. But, like, Mark is an amazing professor, again, like, he's really good. I love taking his class, I definitely recommend if you're taking Type in Motion, take it with him. This is a really good class, and it went so well, and it just was... A good experience learning after a fact so first for the class you do like for every single project basically you do well first of all he lectures he teaches something and then you do like brainstorm then you do like storyboards so he really wants you to plan out like what you're gonna have in this motion project that you're doing so the projects start short but then as time goes on they get like longer time wise so that means like having more interactions, more illustrations and stuff like that. But it's a really good course. I definitely recommend taking it. And then I took Design 191B, which was Environment with Med. Okay, so I believe 191B for me was the UI UX course, which back then when I started, it was barely like starting. So this was kind of like the try. Of like whether they were gonna keep it or not so this course was really good to be honest like it was good for being like the 
one of the first if not the first course that like they offered for UIUX because we got to learn about like user experience like we got to design application and also websites and kind of like go through the process of like user testing and stuff like that and presenting it at the end so I did like it this is kind of what was like my foot into the door about UI UX because I had never taken any course like that so I remember being super happy that they even offered a course like this while I was there so I'm pretty sure that by now it's an official course so I do recommend taking that if you're like intrigued or interested in like the UI UX world. Then for winter quarter 2019 I took design 154 and this was message campaign design with Gail Akumar, Akumar I believe with Gail and she was also the professor that I took visual communications with the design 116 I believe but this course was a lot <laughs> so it was kind of like the second and so it's kind of like the second step to 116. This is one of the courses that is capstone. So some of these courses are capstone. The two capstone ones that I took is Interactive Media 2 and Design 154, the one that I'm talking about right now. So this course was mainly a group project, but it was a lot of work. But it was a really, really good portfolio piece. So I definitely recommend taking it. Or just overall if you're interested in branding and visual design and stuff like that marketing like it has a lot a lot it requires a lot of work so it's ends up being really cool though it's really cool to see everybody present their projects and by the end you do have to present to a panel similar to 116 which with design you do a lot of presenting so that's something that you should definitely like think about like getting used to for this quarter, I also took Design 157, which is Interactive Media 2. That was with Glenda Drew, and she's an amazing professor, again, but I just overall had a hard time in the class. But I did really good in the class. I, you guys, didn't sleep for days. Like, I stayed up. I was committed to not messing up a coding class for me. So I did not want to do bad in the class. I stayed up. I asked all the questions that I could. Like, that's definitely what it takes so you have to pull all-nighters if you do like I had to pull all-nighters but it was a really good learning experience so I definitely recommend it and then I took AHI 168 which was Great Cities this is a non-design course that I just took on my own and again another course I took is Chai 113 Latina Social Movement another non-design course that I took so I'm not gonna really go into detail about those then spring quarter 2019, I took Chai 120, another non-design course, which is Chicano Psychology. Then I took one, f then I took Design 150A, which is CAD for Designers with Pierre. Pierre is amazing. <laughs> you guys, like, you should definitely take him if you get the chance. He's a really good professor. But you use vector words for that class, and then Rhino, and then Atlantis also. So you do use those three for that class. That's pretty much the focus for that, but I definitely recommend branching out of what you're trying to focus in design, just like I did kind of with that course, because it just helps you learn more programs, you know, and like different things. I took Design 178, which is wearable technology, which Vega, Katia Vega, and that was the last course that I had for that one, but that course was a learning experience. So basically, you have to take all the coding classes for designers and stuff as a prerequisite but it was an experience it was a lot of like learning but it was super helpful for me because I had a friend that was a computer science major in there so we kind of worked together it was a lot of projects in pair you could also do it alone but I chose to not do it alone so there's a lot of computer science majors in there and half of them are design majors i believe by now it's become a bigger course because i think when i went to go take it it was the first time and there was only like 10 students so it was really small so hopefully me mentioning a little bit about the courses that i took was helpful for you guys but let me know if you do have questions in the comments or dm me like 
I will reply, no doubt, like, I want to help you guys as much as possible, and especially now that school has already started. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe down below if you haven't already, and also turn post notifications on because it lets you know when I upload a video. And I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video. I hope you're having a beautiful day or night. Bye, guys.